First dish I'm going to show you today is um, a char grilled asparagus with a pumpkin seed pistu and pumpkin seed mayonnaise. Okay, we use Wire Valley asparagus, which we get from Wild Harvest. Um, we char grill it. We also serve it with, um, inspired by a silic pack, which is a, a Mexican style pumpkin seed salsa dip. We've taken this um, crushed pumpkin seed, uh, fermented chili paste, tomatoes, um, lime juice, lots of olive oil, and we just blended it up. And that goes on as a kind of rough, crunchy element to the asparagus. So first we take the char grilled asparagus, we put that to one side of the bowl. Then we have a little dollop of pumpkin seed mayonnaise. And then a little generous spoon of um, pumpkin seed pistu. We finally finish with a little coriander crust. So there we have char grilled asparagus, pumpkin seed pistu, pumpkin seed mayonnaise. So uh, the next dish I'm going to plate is uh, a globe artichoke with nettles, hop shoots, morels and Berkswell. We take a globe artichoke and we cook that a la Greg in a very classic way, lots of wine, lemon juice and um, we serve that with a seed puree. So it's got sunflower seeds, we pressure cook and then blitz into a fine puree with olive oil. We stuff the artichoke with um, nettles which we've chopped up blended with some um, roasted sunflower seeds and uh, lemon zest. We top that with some um, hop shoots, some nice bitter, almost asparagus-like spears, and um, some really earthy morels that have been lightly cooked in olive oil and a morel stock. And then finally, the whole dish gets um, a good grating of chestnut mushroom, raw chestnut mushroom, which have a really nice pronounced flavour. And finally, Berkswell, which is a, a used milk cheese. The idea behind this dish is that if we took the cheese off, then the whole dish is vegan. There we have our artichoke with nettles, morels, hop shoot, and Berkswell. So the last dish I'm going to assemble is um, has been put together actually by my sous chef Drew. So it's a chocolate cremo with a cumin seed caramel. The cremo itself is like a, um, a set chocolate custard, almost like a really soft ganache. Um, we're going to sit that on top of some uh, caramel infused with lots of cumin seeds. So you've got a nice warm spiciness to it. We use brandy snap biscuits because they just bring the, the right amount of snap and crunch to the dish. Um, we stuff the cremo with a little sweetened cultured cream, which we culture here ourselves. Um, very much like a sour cream, really. We finish with some homemade cocoa pops, simply wild rice, deep fried, and sprinkled with lots of chocolate. And a grating of white chocolate, finally. So there you have a chocolate cremo with a cumin seed caramel.